Goodbye to the best apartment in the whole world. I'm not even kidding you. Goodbye, especially to the handicap features. But hello, 1960s ranch home fixer upper. We're so excited. Let me show you around. First up, we have this weird tile floor. I don't know if I love it or hate it. I kind of love it. I guess in 1960s terms, this would be the great room. Whatever it is, we love it. This will be my husband and I's first home. And as proud zillennials, we do not have much of a renovation budget to work with. Our plan is to live in this house for a little bit before we make any major renovations to see what we like and what we don't like about the layout. But I do think that we're both on board to rip out this carpet. It's really nice carpet and it's super thick. However, we're just not carpet people. And because we know there's hardwood underneath every inch of carpet in this house, we're very tempted to make ripping out this carpet our first priority. Okay, next up, look at this kitchen. Very dated. However, I am a wood cabinet girly. So I will be refinishing these cabinets, keeping their natural color. And say what you will about this oven, but I am tired of almost toppling over trying to put a cast iron in the oven. So this is a win for me and will not be replaced. Actually, probably none of these appliances will be replaced because they're all functional and that's not a priority for us right now. We found the washer and dryer hookups in the garage along with a squatter. Mm -hmm. Living rent-free all this time. It's literally a bird. Oh, baby bird egg. I wish I could say that there were no birds harmed in the making of this, but I really don't know because the seller took care of the patchwork. Speaking of patchwork, I'm sure you see the ceiling cracks and we're gonna call that character, okay? That's just, it's just character. Here's the backyard, here's stuff that we're getting rid of. And by getting rid of, I don't mean getting rid of because I don't really know what we're gonna actually get rid of yet, but <laughs> potentially we'll redo this back deck area. There's mold up there, there's resealing that we're gonna have to do, and wallpaper. That's going bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Here's the bathroom that they have pretty much updated already in some of the features. Not the way I would update it, but we'll go with it. They, do, they have these intercoms throughout the whole house. Here is one of the bedrooms. All the bedrooms are very similar. They're pretty good size, actually. The closets are a little small for my liking, but it's okay. Here's a stand-up shower. I actually love the tile. I know that's probably not what other people like, but I really like it. Kind of by necessity, we're gonna be embracing a lot of this house's mid-century character while winging some budget-friendly updates. So if you're interested, follow along. 